Hello, what we're going to be talking about today is tap handle removal, which is this part of the tap here. Now you may be in the position where you may have to repair your tap, it may be dripping, you may need to reseat the tap or change the washer or for whatever other reason. The first thing you must do is remove the tap handle, which is this part here. Now there are three types which you're probably going to come across. The first type being the most common one, which is the, the bonnet type head here. Now on this one you remove the cap from the top, remove the screw and then you place, uh, place the tap handle puller on top like this and it's actually screwed there which presses onto the spindle on the top of the tap and two arms there pull up the, the tap handle against the spindle by screwing of this knob here which will pull the tap handle off. That's the first and most common one. The second one you may come across is the what you call the capstan head, which is this type here. And it has four handles usually like this. Same principle as before, you take the cap out of the top, which re reveals the top of the tap spindle. And inside here you'll find a screw. Remove the screw, turn the tap handle puller around, and then the same thing happens again. The top of the screw of the tap handle puller places on top of the spindle. And in this case you turn the arms around and the uh, arms here of the tap handle go through the puller. You can see there, again screwing down the screw here causes pressure on top of the spindle and pulls the tap handle up off the top of the spindle. They're the, the two most common types. Now on this one here, which is an older type tap, it's a bit of a different setup. It has got capstan, a capstan head with the arms on like so, but the difference being here that there is no screw on the top, in other words that cap is fixed in and it's not held on that way. On these type of taps, which you say are usually pretty, pretty old, about 30, 40, 50, 60 years old even, they have a small screw in the side here, which on, in this case I've removed it. It's in there, a little grub screw, which goes in the side of there. You take that screw out. Now the difference being here, of course, is no top of the spindle being revealed, so we can't use this type of puller. So what we're going to use now is a, a tap handle pusher, which is this device here. Now what this does is made out of two plates with a, an operating bolt in the middle. And what you do is you just simply place it in between the top of the tap bonnet and the underneath of the handle. Don't forget to take the screw out first. And some of these can be amazingly tight because they've been on for sometimes, like I say, 50, 60 years. So you place that in between the gap there. And then, with this bolt here, you screw it down using a spanner. Screw it around like that. And it will separate the plates. Can you see there? Separate the plate with quite considerable pressure and push and force the tap handle up and off like that. So that is the tap handle pusher. Uh, all these um, tools are available from ABD Tools. So the three types you'll come across, um, just to go over it quickly again, the tap bonnet type, which is that one. The capstan head with the screw at the top which is that one and this is the capstan head the older type where the screw is on the side um, and you would need the tap handle pusher to push that off and I hope that's been of help today and uh, thanks for watching